released footage of dead and dying chickens on a so-called free-range farm has angered animal rights activists and prompted calls for an investigation. SAFE released the video footage on Tuesday showing most of the barnyard of chickens staying inside rather than moving out into the range. The organisation says the sick chickens are unable to move because they're a fast-growing breed which should be banned. Alex Perite reports, and just a warning, if you're watching, some of the footage may be distressing. Red raw, sickly, some teetering on their feet, others unable to get up or move. This footage, taken by Farm Watch volunteers, is from cameras inside and outside the barn. It only shows some chickens moving outside when a worker walks through the barn with feed. Mary Ann MacDonald from SAFE says she's disgusted. Well, the conditions are shocking. Uh, you just have to see those baby birds just five weeks old and they are suffering. They spend their day in pain and also with skin that's red raw from sitting in the, the dirty litter. But in a statement today, an MPI spokesperson says the footage is from late last year or early this year and SAFE didn't contact MPI or provide the footage until it was publicly released this week and MPI had to ask for it. Mary Ann MacDonald says that's because there was a separate incident filmed last year and no action was taken. That was actually sent to MPI asking them to investigate and they came back and said that the, the farm was operating above the minimum standards. So they gave no warning to or charges to that farm. We know this is business as usual. The executive director of the Poultry Industry Association, Michael Brooks, says he's concerned about what he saw. The footage is unacceptable. Um, clearly the, um, there would appear to be um, problems for the mobility of the, of the birds in question. And that's not a scenario that uh, should be occurring on farm. But Mr Brooks says it's a one-off. In New Zealand, conditions for animals across the board are better than most other countries. New Zealand's poultry mortality rate is about 2%. It's exceptionally low by world standards. It's pretty low by standards of uh, agricultural animals generally. You don't get that level of mortality or the incredible low levels of disease that New Zealand poultry has by having widespread poor welfare. Mary Ann MacDonald says she rejects that and 2% of all chickens is still a huge number of animals dying painfully. I mean, that's 2.5 million birds. And if you think about it, uh, that's a huge amount of suffering. Every individual animal is suffering in this way when they go through these conditions. SAFE says the main reason the chickens are in distress is because they are a fast-growing breed, which is obviously good for farmers, but a terrible life for the chicken, which grows too fast to be able to move properly, meaning many can't stand up and end up sitting in their own excrement. Michael Brooks says fast-growing breeds are common and there's no evidence that they are any worse off than other chickens. There is no science on welfare difference between a slower and a faster growing bird. The uh, University of Guelph in Canada is just at this moment conducting a study on that particular point. And that will be the first international study on any welfare difference between the growth periods of the birds. MPI says now it has the footage, it will review it and determine if an investigation is warranted. SAFE has confirmed that it has given MPI the details of the farm in question, but maintains the problem is industry-wide. For Checkpoint, Alex Perrottet.